Okay, I will use the CommonJS uh, first time project that I showed you earlier to show you how to make basic programming and how to create functions and how to work in the environment of Titanium Studio. So if I go in here, you can see we have the tab 1 and the tab 2 files. We have the app.js, which is very small in code. And in here we have all the code for these windows. So what I want to do now is I want to have some input field on both tabs. And how would I do that in a good way? What I can do is I can actually create a view. A view that I want to have played in both the tab 1 and the tab 2. So for view I will create a new file um, Let's just call it input fields dot js and just as the tabs we will use the function so we encapsulate our input fields and can use all variables like as we want to. So we just go in here and copy paste this part. Of course I could have written it. And then we change the name of our function to input fields. we are um, and of course we use a big eye here in here we will generate some input fields um, as I told you in class we have down here some snippets and the snippets you can go down to titanium mobile and see do you find any input fields down here And we have create text field, for example. You can double click it and there will come um, a snippet of the code to generate a text field. So what we can do in this is we can actually call it something else like um, username. P username. Okay. And as you see, it changes all the way down. So they are connected. So this is quite nice. What we have here is the height of the input field, the top left with hint. This is hint text. Um, I can just type username. Or just username. So what we do here is kind of a CSS, the CSS to actually design the text field. And to get more information about this, try to look at Accelerator's documentation for border styles, return key type, keyboard type, which is where you can actually have a numpad keyboard or a email keyboard with a add button um, at page one. So the hint text is the text that will be in the field if you haven't focused on it yet and there's nothing in it. 
Okay. What we have down here is what we call a event. A event is when you want something to happen, a reaction on one of your actions. So, as we see here, when you click return on your keyboard or on your phone, it will blur the text field and then alert input was and then we take the variable of the input field and get the value. Okay. We want another field. We can just actually add another text field down here and call it P pass works. Password, soft key, on one key, what type, return key type. As you can see here, if you use control space, you can actually get a list of possible um, addition to the style and functionality of the text field. So I can go down here and see if we can find a type. What we want to do is adding a password mask. Password mask true. And that will make our um, what we enter um, invisible for any other viewers so we have our and the password does exactly the same for right now okay but this is just two input fields so when you call the function what's what's really happening and uh, not really a lot so what we want to do is create a view so we want to go to raw um, login view equals ti dot ui dot oops ui dot uh, create create view and And um, in here we can set width and height, uh, width, three hundred, height, three hundred. In our view, you can look at, at a view as a div tag in HTML. This is just a, cont a container that will allow you to have some content and place it where you want. So what we want to do is we want to add our input fields to our view. And it is important to do it in the right. If you want the username first, it is important you add it as the first one. So now we have added both our views. 
at our view we also have a possibility to control layout so if we want to control our layout for example we don't want to put all the boxes on top of each other in different layers we want to put them one above the other inside this view then I can use a function called layout and in this we have if we want them on top of um, on top of each other um, we will go vertical you also have horizontal to choose from so vertical and of course we will return our view so what we get from our function is a view so how are we going to use this view let's go into the tab here and say in here we would like to require require input fields and depending where you are you can go out this means actually you go out to the root of resources and then oops, UI input fields um, while view equals I input view equals require input fields and then I execute it here because I what I get back is a function and the function returns my real input view my object so I call it as a function and then I get my object placed in input view so what I want to do is I want to add my input view to this window but I don't want to add it just on top of all the labels so I go up here and use layout as well to my input views and of course I want to add it to my window but I don't want to add it on top of the others so I use layout up here as well layout colon vertical yes and I want my label one first and when the one dot add then I want my input view so let's just look at how that's gonna be oh, I got a lot I will start up my Jenny motion. So let's see. Okay, I have a I am window number one, and below that I have username and password. And I can use here, as you can see, I can write my text, and the password will go into dots instead of because of password mask. So that's kind of the basics of it. What I want you to really recognize is how do I get the value of it and um, how do I actually use my common JS to create these views. 
of course if I wanted to um, if I wanted to use it somewhere else then just tab one I could just copy this to tab two add it here remove that one change it to two and there we have it let's try to run that on Jenny yes if you look correctly or carefully you will see that um, I added the input view on before I added label 2 on window 2 so now we can see the differences and then you'll probably say oh I this is a funny looking input field and I probably agree but you can go in and find out what kind of input fields you can create and how you can style it by looking at accelerators text field we could just show you accelerator.com go into the de developers um, documentation search for text There it is, text field. And here you can see a basic text field. But as you can see here, you can also have border style uh, and do we have something more? And down here is all the properties like background focused color background disabled image and you can get much more information by just looking at it uh, when you click it in here you can see which kind of phones it will work on so go try it out create some colors this color is the color of the text. Try it out.